Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. This video is going to cover the lookup function and how to use it. So I've put together a slide to help describe how to use the lookup function. It's a little confusing and the lookup function itself operates a lot differently than a lot of the other functions in AppSheet. So hopefully this clears up any of the differences in how to use this function. So let's look at the syntax of the lookup function. And while I'm doing this, and as I, as I talk through this video, you'll notice that I've color coded the text so you could see the relationships between what I'm talking about and the location to help show that visual relationship between the two. So first, let's, uh, let's look at the first value that is part of the lookup function, and that's the find value. So the find value is simply the value you want to search for. And that could be a static value. That could also be a column reference from your chart. So you could dynamically search for stuff based off that record. It is important to note that this find value, this value you want to search for in the table itself is unique. There can't be other, other lookups there because think about it. If you're trying to find a specific record in the table, that value, if it's more than one value, then there's no logical way to, to retrieve that value if there's more than one unique value to search. So just keep that in mind. That must be a unique value or the lookup will not function reliably. It'll essentially pull the first value from the table itself that it finds. And that may not be the value you're looking for. Next is in data. So the in data set is essentially the table that you want to go find that value. So once you've identified the value you want to search for, the second, the second entry is going to be the table to go find that value. So that'll be the table as a whole, whatever that table name is, is what you would enter in there. The third entry is in column. This is where you're going to identify the column itself that you want app sheet to go search for that find value that you've identified. So that'll be unique identifier for that table itself. Typically will be the key of that table that you're searching for. So I have this, you know, so I'm showing project ID here as that unique identifier. And then lastly, the return column. This is simply where that lookup value, where that result lives. What column does that live? If I find the project ID, then AppSheet's going to come over here to the column that you identify, so in this case, status, and then return that value as an output to that function. This will be very simply the column that you want to retrieve, the value you want to retrieve that matches the find value that you identified in the first. So to wrap this up, let's look at this in an example. We're gonna look up the value of 998ADF14 in the project table with the project ID column and the status column. Once that's been identified, AppSheet will then search for that value, 998ADF14, and go to the project table here and look in the project ID column for that value. So here's 998ADF14. And then it's going to go over to the status column and retrieve the value that it finds there. So in this case, that's not started. So not started would be the output to that lookup function. So that's a really simple example. And keep in mind, this first entry on the lookup can also be a column reference of some kind or, or any other function that you want to use to have a search term in this function if it needs to be dynamic. So with that, thanks everybody for watching. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great one.